what is up everybody so you're probably right now stuck at home bored out of your mind and guess what today i'm going to showcase you how you can learn a new skill or increase your current skills for free now you see the title of the video essentially it is showing you resources on how to learn coding or programming for free and this is something that is probably only going to be available during the certain events that we have right now, aka while you are quarantined. So uh, in case this is your first time on the channel, basically, I'm just documenting myself, doing stuff, learning code. I did some UX UI design. You can see all that stuff on my uh, channel. But for this sake of the video, I just want to show you these cool specials that these companies are doing that uh you probably would never ever have the opportunity to do otherwise and since you are stuck at home you probably just have wi-fi computer and you want to learn a new skill this might be your only chance to do that so uh i mean yeah the car that truck i guess i i'm not sure you can hear that was yep all right so let's pretend that didn't happen anyways you go to google you type and learn how to code for free or learn code for free you see boot camps whatnot and then you see uh free stuff but most of the time most of the courses or content out there is paid so make sure you watch this all the way to the end because i'm going to showcase you companies and courses that are actually paid that are currently free right now and this is only going to be limited time so make sure you if you are watching this you can hop on that because uh if not by the time you're watching this in the future i'll still showcase you resources you can check out but I can't promise if they're going to be free by the time you're watching this in the future. But for the sake of it right now, currently you see these lists, you have um, all these companies mentioned. Now let's go and start off with the OG, the one that's probably one of the most famous free code camp. All right. So um, if you're just starting out like myself, uh, free code camp, I'd say for HTML and CSS and probably JavaScript. I didn't get through JavaScript enough, but uh, basically it's perfect for people to just get started get their feet wet and see what coding is about and uh literally you click sign and get started i think you enter your email i think i i can't remember what i attached my google or whatnot and then you're literally inside free code camp and then you start typing on a computer follow along with the um instructions and then you start actually coding now this one is free they do ask for donations but it's literally free and it should stay free uh, and I'll say for at least ever until unless the um, founder decides to change his mind But for the sake of it, this is most likely going to be free in the future as well So don't worry about this if you're like, oh, is it gonna be paid or not? However, let me showcase a paid company That is doing something special just for this current events that are going on that um, would benefit people out there who are students out there So I'm going to assume if you are in school or you have a school email that your income might not be the same as somebody who is working a full-time job or doing other things that actually make the money. So basically, Code Academy, I just been uh, I've been doing it for a couple of days now, and I like it much much better than um, Free Code Camp, and that's just my experience, just the way it is. Plus, it's a paid a um, it's a paid program. But here's the thing they have right now. So if you're lucky enough to see this, you go to their website. Normally, it's um, like forty dollars a month to do this um get like the pro membership and then yearly they have like a uh, like a bulk thing if you buy within a year but for the sake of it if you are a student or you have a student or school email that has a specific ending for schools if you're in college you know what i'm talking about then you click this join today or you could probably research it i'm sure you could email them if you can't find this link and you literally click join pro and you just enter your school email and you're pretty much in the game there you go just like that so um if you're trying to get into it, you saw this um, company before, then guess what? Today is your day, at least limited time until they cancel this to get in there. Now, normally, let's say you see this again or you just don't fit into this um, criteria, you can try for free. I don't know. I think it was like, I don't know the exact date. I would say a week, but don't quote me on this. But regardless, I mean, if you're chilling for the next month or let's say, let's say eight weeks, right? So two months. One week can get you, you know, pretty far. If you go like eight hours a day, you could finish it essentially some of these within that week. I'm not even kidding. Because they usually say like a, um, like the time, the time it takes to complete a couple, like literally like four months plus. But if you're going in six, eight hours a day, you could get literally two plus months of so-called predicted work within just a couple of days. So that's one option right here. Right off the bat, you can see this there. 
and all these courses here. So I'm just going through right now. So once I um, get through it, I'm doing the web development one right now. So I'll let you know my opinions. But aside from that's a different video. Let's go to the next one. So here on the screen, I can't even uh, exit off this yet. I'll, I'll wait and um, show you the actual website. But um, this popped up as I was um, loading the screen. And pretty much this is Udacity. So if you followed me, I have links. I'll put links in the description below to one of the Udacity courses that I took for um, UX UI design. So if you want to check that out, then go down below or just go to like, that's probably the first video on my channel. You can click on that. Now, um, their courses are not typically free. They're usually higher price and just depending on the individual, they might be out of your price range where some of them can cost from anywhere from low 100s to upwards of a thousand plus. Now here, this is actually crazy. I think this is happening like last afternoon, yesterday afternoon I saw this and I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. So um, I actually thought about doing one of the um, courses in here, but since I'm juggling it with uh, another company right now, I'm gonna wait and probably just get into it like once I get more experience on the other things because the course I was looking into requires prerequisites but basically you have literally 30 days free access so entire month so if you're just stuck at home bored you can finish some of these nano degrees within a th um, less than a month for me I finished the um, UX design one in like a couple of weeks like it was before a month period and that's because I just put all full time into it now certain ones obviously require um, prior skill but literally just go to udacity.com and go here. I'll try to include a link down below too. You guys can check it out too if you want to. But basically they have free access for 30 days and pretty much um, any sort of thing you want. So this is your first time. You've never seen this company. They're very, very famous in the um, tech educational, I'll say field. And a lot, I think the founder is ex Google or maybe he might still be at Google, I'm not sure. But um, a lot of the instructors are on Google too as well for specific courses. But literally you can see here um literally anything you can think of ai i haven't taken any of these i haven't done even the um i'm looking at this one but it does require sort of um you can't just start it from scratch but they do have certain ones too i think they have a few free ones but uh pretty much let me actually go to and show you the um so you got front end they got full stack so let's just click on front end and depending on the um like your link, your location, they have different prices. It, it fluctuates, but uh, let me see here. You go down the bottom, you can see the instructors, but uh, let's go here. Yeah, so normally, yeah, right now that's discounted, but um, it's like 400 a month, give or take, depending on when you get this. And sometimes it can cost like a thousand because you need to do, what, 300 times four, basically, you're over 1K plus at that point, if you do it for like four months. So that's one alternative right now. So I don't know how long it's gonna last. Maybe you probably have like a month or so before this goes away, but um, go and check that out too. Do your research there. Now let's go into a free source that is pretty much free forever, right? So this one's MDN documentation, or I like to call it um, basically the developer.mozilla.org. So I just type in MDN documentation on Google and it goes from here. Now I use this to learn HTML and CSS when I first started, which was like a couple of weeks ago. And this is probably the most comprehensive resource I found that helped me learn HTML and CSS. When I got to JavaScript, JavaScript is a completely different animal. So I had, I look, had to look at other courses and more video content, but it's free forever pretty much. This is like the, uh, they call it the OG. Like this is the proper way to do everything. So if you ever have a question, you'd go here. So pretty much like you go to uh, let's see, like CSS, just click on any of these. And at first, it, depending on, you know, your uh, technical ability, the confu the site might be a little confusing to navigate, but basically uh, you go here, first steps. And then these are essentially like a table of content. So like what it is, let's go to like this one and you scroll down, it tells you like everything about it. It's not just a course where you just like type in code. It tells you like the reasoning, what these mean. And then pretty much, uh, this is my favorite source for just getting started. So if you're literally beginner first time, probably I would say check this out for HTML, CSS, JavaScript though, I'm still testing out and seeing what sources help me learn. But uh, aside from that, this one is 100% for free. So don't worry about income. If you're just bored, you're at home, you're stuck in isolation, check out one of these sites there. Now, um, obviously you can Google, check other sites. I know there are um, some boot camps that have their course for free. I checked one out. The way of structure wasn't that good, but I'm sure you can Google some other alternatives we can see here as well. But the one that you're currently on right now that has a couple 
I'd say great resources out there for learning pretty much anything you want for free would be YouTube, right? So I'm on incognito, so it's just like the general whatever YouTube shows, but literally you can type in um, how to code for beginners. And boom, now you can find. So what I would do is go through the, um, like something structured first, like MDN documentation or like free code camp or maybe even um, code academy and then go use YouTube to uh, enhance your foundation. If it's a course that's like project based. Now, if it's something just like teaching you literally uh, like learn Python, this recode camp right here, AKA these people right here, then I mean, obviously you can watch that too, but just don't get in the phase where you're just like watching a bunch of tutorials, get into something that actually makes you type out. But aside from that, like this one, and also check the, um, the year it was posted. Like if one's posted like eight years ago, you might not want to um, consume all of that material. It might still work, but stuff might be outdated. But yeah, this pretty much showcasing you. Mainly, I wanted to showcase you these two right here. The um, Code Academy, because it's free thing just for this specific um, event that's going on. And then also Udacity that has this part right here. Those are the two that are paid that normally are not free. So that's um, good for now. But aside from that, if you are watching this in the future and you have to pay, I mean, I would say check them out first, free trials or whatnot, see how you like it, and then probably you can go from there. But aside from that, this completes the video. So if you have not already, go down below, hit that like button for me, helps me out with the channel. Click the subscribe button if you have not already, and comment down below any other resources or literally what are you learning doing during this quarantine phase. And aside from that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.